Okay, here we go again. So looking at this worked example, we're going to look at part B. So that's going to be use linear interpolation to estimate the median cost. Now, firstly, what is the median? The median is actually the, the middle person or middle value of the data set. First thing first, we look at the frequency and we know straight away that the total should be 90. It's technically given. And we know that the, the median lies somewhere in the middle. So it should be the 45th. Or you can also say n plus 146 person. Either way, you'll get the same result or about the same result. So how do we do this? To use interpolation, firstly, we just draw a nice line all the way across. And first thing, I'll label the median here. Now, what do we put in all these values? Well, let's look at the, the table for a second. We want to firstly find where the middle person lies. So let's count the frequency and find where the 45th person is. So at the frequency, we've got 12 here. Use community frequency, so add 30 more, there'll be 25 up to this point. Add another 25, there'll be 50. So up to this point, the median should lie somewhere in this interval. So we can instantly say that the median is somewhere between 45 and 50. Now, for the bottom values, this is just the, the position. So the median's, of course, the 45th or 46th position. I'll use 45 for this example. You can use 46 too. And for the low and upper bound, we can say that he must lie between the 25th person here and the 50th. Okay, now we've done everything. So now all we do is, yeah, interpolate. So to do this, we look at up, we look at the top and uh, lower values and we just find proportions. For example, we can say that the difference between the median 45 is proportional to the difference between the first two positions. So let's say that. We can say M minus 45 is proportional to uh, 45 take away 25. Yep. And we can say this is equal to, and we pick another range. We can say that, that 50 take away 45 is proportional to 50 take away 25. So this line could be the kind of um, divisor, yeah? So 50 minus 45 is directly proportional to 50 minus uh, 25. You could do this in various ways. You could do upside down. You could take long waves. You could do M take away 50. It doesn't matter. Ultimately, you'll get the same value because this is all in direct proportion. Now, let's go ahead and resolve this, yeah? So resolving this one, you get M45 over 20 equals 5 over... 25. So times 20 across and add 5. Let's see what we get here. Yeah? 25 times 20 add 45. And I got exactly 49. So M equals 49. 